It's a young samurai, I smoke a split in a cut, then I pass a lot to my bro. No fuck with my flow. Couple bad bitches in a cup of that show. So it's just THC. BBN Jack Frost. What's up, party people? Hey, before the video even start, hit that like button, subscribe, and join the notification game. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. Okay, the first thing I want to do is I want to give a shout out to your man XXX Tentacion. He has gained, he has garnered an absolutely new respect for me. Okay. One of the main reasons why I don't like these mumble rappers, besides the fact that like 75% of their music is garbage, out of the 25 that's left, about 15% of it is just so-so, and every now and then, you know, I'd say 5% of the stuff that they drop, and I'm saying in total, 5% of the stuff that they drop, or 4% of the stuff that they drop is passable, and maybe 1% of the stuff that they drop is up to par. That's that, that that's one of the main reasons why I don't like these guys. They just absolutely dilute in what people expect from hip-hop, because that shit is not really that good. It's, it's more about the production, the engineers and the producers, than it is the actual artists. Like, the rapper, he's just, first of all, you say the, they say one line like nine or ten times in the damn song, and somehow, I don't know. Anyway, um, that that's a whole nother conversation for a whole nother day. But I got a whole new respect for this ex dude. Because another really big reason why I don't like these dudes is because they're always promoting weird ass drugs. And I say that to say this. I used to be a Wayne fan. But once I saw him promoting that that freaking lean, and once I saw that his promotion of that lean made that use of that particular drug more prevalent, I couldn't fuck with Wayne no more. I had to leave him alone. I had to say, Wayne, we had a good run. But right now, we at a crossroads, and I'm going left, and you going right. No, 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 no. no. I'm not saying I'm going to go left. You can come left with me. I'm saying I'm going left, and you have to go right. And if you decide to go left, then I'm going right. Because what, what, what's going on with this lean stuff and you pushing that the way that you are, advertising it the way that you are, I'm just not jacking that. I can't get with that. But it's cool. Because some people are followers. Some people are going to say, oh, that's the new drug? Let me get a hold of it. Let me try it out. It's a drug, idiot. You don't try out drugs. <laughs> They're not pants. <laughs> you can use a drug one time and become addicted. You don't try drugs out. The whole concept of that is, is just foolishness. So now X is out after uh, the, the dude Little Pete passed away. And uh, this is not... Uh, like I said, dudes like that that end up, you know, losing their life, overdosing because they're drug addicts. Um, it's sad. But when you're a drug addict and you're promoting the drug, getting other people also addicted to it, it's not sad. I'm sorry. I mean, I don't I don't want nobody to lose their life. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying if we can prevent somebody from promoting the drug without causing them harm ourselves, if something just happens that prevents that person from promoting that drug that, will, that, that, that makes it so that they can convince more of our youth to also use that drug, how could I be sad about that? I know what a lot of people are going to say, yo, this dude is a dick, this and this and that, somebody died. Look, man, we have people out here that are impressionable youths, and what's going to happen is when they see their heroes, when they see the people that they look up to, when they see the people that they want to be like doing something, they emulate it. So when you have a somebody, a somebody, 
abusing whatever the drug might be. You have also thousands, tens of thousands, possibly hundreds of thousands of teenagers willing to follow in their footsteps. And if they believe smoking, drinking, whatever it is, is going to get them to, to that plateau or get them on the level that that dude is on or that woman is on or whatever is on, they going to try that shit. Let me tell you a quick story. When I was a kid, I was a teenager, whatever. I used to write, had bars and all that. But I had a cousin. And I have a cousin. He's, he, he's still alive. It's not like he passed away. I have a cousin. So one day my cousin came to me. We was writing. I was killing it. And the nigga said, Joe. Well, we wasn't writing. We was freestyling at the time. And he said, Joe, you can't be a rapper if you don't smoke weed. Because I didn't smoke weed. He said, you can't be a rapper if you don't smoke weed. It didn't resonate with me when he said that. I just looked at him like, this nigga, fuck out of here. Because I'm not the type of person to just do something because somebody else is doing it. So he was telling the wrong dude. I, I eventually, a couple of years later, started smoking a little bit of weed. But then I quit. It ain't no big. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, some of us, we don't follow the crowd. Some of us, we don't need other people in order to validate us. You know what I'm saying? It sometimes makes it hard for the individual that gets in a relationship with us. But, um, yeah, some of us don't need other people to validate us. So you have tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of impressionable youths. Some of them grew up in households that they get overlooked. Some of them grew up in households with overbearing parents. Some of them grew up in households where they're bullied by other brothers or sisters. Just with problems, if you get what I'm saying. And then they see this person that's using whatever drug that they're using and they decide, you know what? That is the type of way that I want to feel because my life is so hard and difficult. So when I see somebody that has the ability to influence youths and they're using their ability to influence the youth, whether they want to have the freaking... The, 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 the mantle or not, they're using their platform to push drugs. I just really can't feel bad when something happens to prevent them from being able to use their platform to push drugs. So back to XXX Tentacion. Yes, I know how to say the guy's name. But usually when he's on some real coonery out there, I just don't say his name right on purpose. Because he's usually on some real coonery out there. But this I could get behind. Now I want to see what he do with this. I want to see how far he take this. When he says, when he see people on social media and they talking about zannies and popping zannies or whatever. He was like, yo, da da da, we coming at them. We not, we not, we not accepting that no more. We got to get off these drugs. First, I want to see how long he stays alive because the, the powers that be just might kill him. That's one. Two, I want to see how long it takes for him to change his mind about this position. Because the powers that be might kill him. True. But if for whatever reason he sticks to this position, whether I like that dude's suicide music or not, I could respect him for his at least want to be a role model. And just so we could be clear, everybody that has a big brother, a part of me, a little brother, you're a role model. 
Everybody that has a little sister, you a role model. Everybody that has children, you a role model. Everybody that has nieces and nephews, you're a role model. We need to be stronger role models in our families so people not looking up to these, these drug addicts. Don't get it confused. I'm not saying that these drug addicts are the end-all, be-all. I'm saying that there's so much crap going on in most people's families that the youth is following these drug addicts. And that's what we need to stop. So, I want to clap it up for XXX Tentacion. <laughs> Say, I'm watching you, young man. Hopefully, other people are watching you, too. And hopefully, other people will help you pick up that mantle and go in this particular direction. And if they don't, then they don't. But pave that way. Anyway, I want to know what y'all got to think about this. Seriously. This is an important topic. I want to know what y'all got to think about this. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. Yo, look, I love y'all. And I'm fucking with X right now. If this is what he's on, I mean, I can't listen to the dude's music, man. But if this is the message he's pushing, I could listen to that. Let's hope his music changes a little, too. How about that? Anyway, uh, that's all I got on this one. I love y'all. Keep each other safe. And I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.